Hey guys, welcome to Robo Circuits. In this video, we are going to take a look at this fingerprint sensor. This one is a AS608 optical fingerprint sensor. In this video, we are going to test it. So first of all, we are going to take a look at the hardware. After that, we will create its connection with the microcontroller, either Arduino, ESP32 or ESP8266. After that, we will install the library which is required to run this fingerprint sensor with Arduino IDE. Then we will enroll our finger in this sensor and finally we will test this fingerprint sensor if it works or not. So this is going to be the agenda of this video. So without wasting much more time, let's get started. But wait, wait, wait. Let's hear a word from the sponsor of this video, LTM Designer. Octopart is an electronic part search engine. And the best part is, it is a part of LTM Designer as well. On this website, you can search from a million of components. So you can search by category, search by distributors, and search from thousands of manufacturers around the world. Octopart allows you to make your PCB designing journey a breeze. Octoparts find the right part for your project and you can seamlessly integrate Octopart with LTM Designer. And using the LTM 365 service, you can save your PCB designing projects online and share it with your teammates easily. So Octopart along with LTM Designer and LTM 365 service makes your PCB designing journey efficient and fast. And the best part is, if you use the link in the description of this video, you will get 30 days free trial of LTM 365 as well as 25% discount on your purchase. So buy LTM 365 today. So let's open our fingerprint sensor. We will get one fingerprint sensor and one cable with it. So let's take a look at the fingerprint sensor. On the top, we can place our finger. Then on the back side, we have a chip. Then we have the connector. So this is the connector included with the kit. So uh, first of all, we have to connect it like this. Then we have four wires here. The first one is VCC. The second one is RX. The third one is TX and the fourth one is ground. So uh, we will use these wires to con connect it with our microcontroller. Now we can use Arduino ESP8266 as well as ESP32 with this. Currently I am going with ESP32. If you don't know how to use an ESP32 in Arduino IDE, you can check out one of my other videos. I will give the link of that video in the top right corner or in the description you can check both so so we are using esp32 for this so first of all we have to make the circuit diagram in order to do the circuit diagram we have to solder the four wires onto our esp32 so without wasting time let's get to our lab and solder it So in order to solder this, first of all we have to put some extra solder on the pins of our ESP32. So just touch the pins, let it heat and give it some solder, just like this. So the first pin is 3.3 volt where our red, pin, red wire will go, then we have ground. Now we have to take two wires. So for serial, we are using RX2 and TX2. So put some solder on RX2 and some on TX2. Now take the wire and let's solder it on pin number red wire on 3.3 volt. Then the second wire, which is the black wire, which is the RX pin. So we will connect it on TX. Then we have the yellow wire which is TX, we will connect it on RX. Just like this. 
then finally the green wire which is our ground wire we will connect on ground just like this so our connection is done now we will connect the connector onto our fingerprint sensor take it like this and connect it you have to use a little bit of force make sure not to use too much force or it will get separated so this way our circuit is done let us now paste it on something uh, so that it is a little bit rigid So uh, the assembly is ready, now we can connect it with our computer and test it. So let's get to our computer screen and see how we can program this thing. So first of all we have to connect our device to our computer like this. You can see the power of uh, the light of the fingerprint sensor lit up that means it is currently running so let's get to our computer screens and check what library we have to download so first of all we have to go to the library manager from here we have to search for fingerprint then we will get adafruit fingerprint sensor library by adafruit we have to click on install Once the library is installed, now the library is installed, that means we are ready to flash the program on our fingerprint sensor. So first of all, we have to enroll our finger. This fingerprint sensor can enroll up to 200 fingers, so uh, we will enroll our finger on the sensor. Go to examples, add a fruit fingerprint sensor library, then go to enroll. Now another Arduino ID will open and this is our code. So currently we are using serial 2, so change it to serial 2 and rest everything should remain the same. Now select the board, our is ESP32 dev module. So we will select it and this is our port and click on OK. Now let's upload the code onto our ESP. Now we will open the serial monitor. Uh, we have to keep the baud rate of 9600. Now let's, now let's click on reset. So here you can see uh, we found a fingerprint sensor, the status is 00. So it is now ready to enroll a fingerprint. We have to first of all type in uh, what is the ID we want to save our fingerprint as. So let's click on, actually the number of fingerprints we can save is 127, okay. So let us save the fingerprint on uh, digit 1. We have to place our finger like this and remove it. Now we have to place it again. Image taken and image is converted, creating model and the fingerprint is saved. So ID1 is stored. 
in the same way we can store the finger uh, number two like this now i'll place the finger number two and remove it and now i have to place it again and remove it the fingerprint did not did not match so it is not saved let's do it once more this time i will try my thumb it is done and now i have to place it again it is done could not find fingerprint features let's try it once again by i am now using this one let's do it again Let's try once more. Okay, so it is saved. Now we have two fingerprints saved in this. now we will go to so that mean our fingerprints are enrolled now we have to read it in order to read our fingerprints we will go open another example we will go to file examples add a fruit fingerprint sensor library and go to fingerprint so now uh, we will upload this code but before that change serial 1 to serial 2 because we have connected our wire to serial 2 let's wait for the code to get uploaded then we will check whether the our fingerprint sensor is able to read our fingers or not the code is uploaded let's open the serial monitor uh, in the monitor currently we are having no finger detected uh, let me place this finger so uh, in image was taken but it is not matched let me try it again not detected so you can see we have found the finger number 2 with confidence of 78 that means this was our finger 2 let's try finger 1 you can see uh, found id 1 with confidence of 92 in this way we can use our fingerprint sensor and do whatever task we have to do whenever we place our finger on it so this was it for this video i hope it was a learning experience for you let me recap everything So first of all we take a look at the fingerprint sensor after that we installed the library in the Arduino IDE we created the connections from our microcontroller to our fingerprint sensor after that we enrolled our fingers finger number 1 and finger number 2 then we checked if the sensor is detecting our fingers or not so this was it for this video In the next video we will make a fingerprint lock with this fingerprint sensor. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you love this and new to this channel then kindly do subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.